Bhagavad Gita, verse 2.63 Anger gives rise to utter delusion, and from such delusion comes loss of memory, forgetfulness of scriptural injunctions. Loss of memory destroys one's intelligence, and when intelligence is destroyed, one's entire spiritual direction in life is lost. One then falls into the ocean of material existence. Sar Ardhavarshini From anger comes delusion, in which there is a loss of discrimination between what is to be done and what is not to be done. When the living entity is in a deluded condition, he forgets the instruction of the scriptures, which are the cause of auspiciousness for him. When his memory is lost, his intelligence loses the capacity to function properly. After that, the sadhaka again falls into the well of material life. Sar Ardhavarshini Prakashikariti The mind indeed is the king, the controller and the impelling cause of the senses. Therefore, by controlling the mind, the external senses are automatically controlled. Thus, in the Vedas, it is said, Yada panchavatishtante jnani manasa saha buddhis jana vicheshtati tam ahuhu paramam gatim Katapanishad 2.3.10 if one can control his five knowledge-acquiring senses, his mind and his intelligence, he attains the supreme destination. Otherwise, if the mind and other senses are not subdued, one has to wander in the cycle of birth and death. This is also stated in Srimad Bhagavatam 11.21.19-21. Vishayeshu Gandaya Sat Pumshaha Sangas Tato Bavet Sangat Tatra Bavet Kamaha Kamat Eva Kalir Nrinyam. When one contemplates the qualities of sense objects, attachment arises. From attachment, desires ensue, and unfulfilled desires leads to quarrel. Kaler durvishaha krudas tamas tam anuvaltati tamasa grasyati pumshash chitana vyapini drutam. From quarrel, unrestrained anger arises. Anger causes delusion, and when one is in delusion, the wisdom to discriminate between right and wrong vanishes. Taya virahitaha sado yantuhu shunyaya kalpati tatosya svarta vipramsho murchitasya ritasya cha. O gentle one, a man who has lost his discrimination becomes like inert matter and from that condition he slides down to states of unconsciousness and becomes almost dead. Thus the supreme purpose of life is defeated. If someone forcibly tries to subdue his external senses without controlling his mind, the results are extremely unpleasant. It is therefore one's duty to control the mind by worshipping Bhagavan with very special endeavor. Consequently, Sri Bhagavan's statement in the Gita 2.61 Tani Sarvani Samyamya is completely logical. <laughs>